thinking of riding the high roller in the Link Promenade, check out this video and I will tell you all about it. That's right, the high roller observation wheel, Ferris wheel, whatever you want to call it, turns 10 this year. So it's as good as time as any to tell you everything you need to know before you take your first ride. I'm going to go over everything from ticket pricing and how to save some money. Oh yes, there are bag checks, so don't be sneaking anything weird in there with you. You can actually bring drinks in there with you, which is surprising. But you can also purchase a variety of cocktails or slushy drinks, as well as snacks at the Sky Lounge. Next up is the token souvenir photos, which are free to take, but you do have to pay for them if you wish to keep them. This is optional, of course. Okay, so, full disclosure, you can buy drinks after you go up and before you purchase tickets and walked in. You can also use the toilet before you get on there as well, so you're totally fine to go line up, buy your tickets. Use your Caesars reward card. We saved about 20% by using that. Something to note, there's also another toilet right before you get in there as well. I strongly recommend doing one last pit stop and emptying your tank before boarding, as you will be in the cabin for approximately half an hour with no toilets on board. The wheel is constantly in motion, so watch your step as you make your way on. There are screens and speakers on board to give you information such as what height you're at, as well as to play some music to keep you entertained. So if you come later at night, which somehow we managed to do, you can, I guess, if you're lucky, get your own card. There's literally just the four of us on here. So, something to think about. We're here at a unique time too, because it's literally been raining like crazy. You can actually see the rain on the glass. So it's not the clearest, unfortunately, but... It's interesting anyway. Fortunately, because the weather has not been the best, the spear is not working, so it's just dark. It's kind of disappointing. The weather's been really bad last couple days, but I'm sorry if you guys do another night. Might be better, hopefully. Yes, weather will definitely play a factor on your trip as the high roller will close if winds are over 50 miles per hour or there is lightning within 5 miles of the wheel. Now for a little background information on the attraction. For those who don't know, the High Roller is a 550 foot tall or 167.6 meter giant ferris wheel on the Las Vegas Strip. It opened on March 31st, 2014 in the Link Promenade and is currently owned and operated by Caesars Entertainment. When it first opened, it was the world's tallest ferris wheel, beating the Singapore Flyer by 9 feet or 2.7 meters. In October 2021, the Ion Dubai Open beating the High Roller by 270 feet or 82.4 meters. However, in March 2022, it was announced the Ion Dubai would close for enhancements, but on April 2023, it was announced that the Ion Dubai would remain closed indefinitely. This, of course, resumed the reign of the High Roller as the tallest operational Ferris wheel. Viva Las Vegas! So this is the view from the top of the high roller. We are basically, you can see the cabin beside us. We're basically at the top right now. And these are our views. Totally worth it for me. This is a great experience. I strongly recommend you guys check this out. We are gonna start our, yeah, we are on the top now. We're gonna start our transition back down again. This is cool for me because I remember doing this when the high roller opened back in 2014, I think it actually was. And then I took my friends on here in 2015. So it's been like almost 10 years since I've been on here and it's really cool to be back on here again showing these people because you know like usually we come to Vegas we say yeah we'll go on it we'll go on it and then things come up we don't end up going on it here we are we finally made it it's our last night in Vegas cheers to that so this is a cool place to see the Bellagio fountains you can see them right there it's a very cool spot to see the, the strip and the iconic Bellagio fountains go off every 30 minutes during the day or every 15 minutes after 7 p.m. So be sure to time your ride so you're at the top when they go off. The high roller consists of 28 cabins with a capacity of 40 people in each, though I've never seen that many people in one before. They are temperature controlled, which is great when you're looking to escape the Vegas heat or to of course stay warm on those colder Vegas nights. You can even get married on them if you're in Sin City with that special someone. Divorces sold separately. So we're about, I'd say, a quarter, maybe half the way back down again. So the views do start to change. It's a bit of a downer, actually, when you know you know you're going to be getting off of the thing very soon. Still a cool experience. The High Roller currently runs seven days a week from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. 
Daytime tickets for rides from 12 p.m. to 4.59 p.m. are $25 for adults and $10 for youth aged 4 to 12. Nighttime tickets for rides between 5 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. are $35.50 for adults and $19 for youth ages 4 to 12. Children under 3 are free. If you are 21 and up, you can also purchase tickets for their happy half hour ride, which includes unlimited drinks starting at $61.50. I've personally done this and found it was more about the drinking and less about the views. Plus, how much can you really drink in half an hour? I personally prefer to buy a drink from Walgreens, CVS, or ABC and ride in one of the regular cabins. There are deals to be found on sites like Groupon, TravelZoo, and other discount sites, so be sure to do some googling before you book. Caesars Reward members will also receive discounts, and if you are diamond or above, you should also receive two free rides on the high roller every month. Just scan your card at the kiosk, but keep in mind these offers are subject to change. There are toilets once you exit the cabins for those who've been holding in for half an hour. And what attraction would be complete without exiting through the gift shop? Don't forget those souvenir photos. All right, so we just finished on the high roll. Like I said, it's been close to 10 years since I've been on it. And, but honestly, you can see behind me. But honestly, I really did enjoy being back on it again, especially uh, taking people who have been on it before. If you have been on it and are sort of looking for an excuse to go on it again, taking people who haven't been on it before is a great experience, great way to sort of show, you know, Vegas newbies something cool. Um, I think I take it for granted because I usually get, you know, like strip views, you know, when I stay in Vegas, that I don't feel like the need to like see things that like sort of have those strip views. At the same time though, you're seeing a view of sort of the north, south, everything end of the Las Vegas Strip. So I definitely recommend doing it. Uh, sign up for a Caesars card if you don't have one. Sometimes I've heard that they will give you free rides if you want to do it that way. I've seen rides on uh, Groupon and other sort of discount sites as well. We didn't do that tonight. I wish we had. The guy did give us 20%, so we did save a few bucks doing it that way by using our Caesars cards. All in all though, really enjoyed it. I will say one thing I noticed that might be different, maybe maybe I'm crazy and maybe I'm remembering it wrong. I swear I remember like being on it and then like sort of narrating and saying to you that, uh, you know, um, here's the flamingo, built in whatever, whatever. Here's this and that. They didn't do that this time. So maybe I'm mistaken, but I don't remember seeing that uh, this time around anyway. Um, I will also say that you can do an all you can drink one for a little bit more. My personal opinion is it's not worth it because you're gonna pay a premium to all you can drink for about half an hour. My opinion is not really worth it. And also if you're there to enjoy the scenes and to see the strip and this, that, and the other, you're not gonna pay attention to any of that because everybody is gonna be partying, everyone's just gonna wanna take shots and, and basically get drunk. So if you're, I mean, you can do that anywhere. You can go to Walgreens and buy a bottle and enjoy yourself for a lot cheaper than going on the high roller and getting a half the hour, you know, thing. My personal opinion, not worth it. Get a drink, bring a drink on there with you if you really want to have a drink. Make sure you pee before you go on there because you're going to be on there after half an hour. Enjoy yourself. That's my personal opinion. Um, try and find out if you can. Like I said, I have seen them on Groupon. I've seen them on uh, Living Social. I think even uh, Travel Zoo has some deals. Try and find a deal if you can. I think they actually have deals for Las Vegas uh, locals as well, for Nevada locals. And uh, like I said, get a Caesars card, you will save a few bucks as well that way. Otherwise, like I said, it's been almost 10 years since I've been on the high roller. I enjoyed it though, we all had a laugh. We got there late at night, so we had our own uh, cart, I guess you could say, which was kind of cool. We all, you know, really enjoyed that. We were laughing and dancing and being obnoxious. There was music on there, which was fun. But uh, all in all, yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, so anyway, let me know below. Have you guys been on the high roller before? How long has it been since you've been on the high roller? Because it's been there for, I think, over 10 years now. I remember, you know, being much, much younger, staying at the Flamingo, watching them building it. Uh, it got a little bit delayed here and there because I think they were missing some parts here and there, but it's finally done. Also, a little bit of trivia. If you've noticed on the uh, south end of the strip near Mandalay Bay, there's actually, you can see there's a beginning building of another Ferris wheel that never got really completed, obviously. So you will notice that a little bit further down if you've driven past it, near the, like sort of near the, the Las Vegas side by Mandalay Bay. But anyway, still a bit of trivia of you. Um, anyway, my friends are about to do karaoke in there, I think, so I'm gonna have to go and keep an eye on them. So if you guys have found this video at all helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, all the usual YouTube stuff. 
really helps me out. It's totally free for you. It really helps me keep delivering this free content to you guys. Um, if you guys have been on the high roller, let me know. Maybe when was the last time you've been on it. Um, do you guys bother with the happy hour card? Do you just do the regular one and bring a cheeky drink on there with you? Do you guys like going on the day or night? Me personally, I say the nighttime is better because you get to enjoy all the lights and everything. Anyway, I gotta keep it on my friends because they're gonna get into some trouble now. So, uh, once again, it's been on the spot, right? We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.